G'day guys, some tips and tricks uh, that we believe will help you out a whole heap. Check it out. I'm uh, going to show you how to pull up a plan very, very quickly. Okay, so you know what, if you're going to use this for drafting, I don't suggest this method because you're going to get pretty accurate. However, a lot of people and builders are just doing this for uh, takeoffs and some people are doing it for renders and some people are just doing it for visualization to see how the product will look. I'm going to show you a couple of guys. You could do it for drafting, however, I'm just going to show you a quick way. Okay, so what I have here is a plan. Now, I can go inside of this plan, it's just an imported plan, and you notice it went uh, dotted, right? Uh, and there's some interesting things uh, that I can show you here. I can trace over this plan very, very quickly, uh, and, and I've traced over this plan before, and you'll notice that I now have two faces. Okay, Watch what happens when I pull this face up. SketchUp uh, actually realized that the line was black so if I look here the line was black so when I pulled it up it pulled up black but the window was white and therefore I have uh, this pattern happening so if I was going to go and draw my walls on here uh, my windows on these walls I could quickly do it I'm going to go control Z and undo and I'm going to quickly go and draw my walls okay now because I have trace around I'm going to have some snap points so I'll be able to do this pretty quick so I'm going to go submit and you can see there that I'm drawing from the uh, frame, but I want to draw from the outside of my wall. I can quickly go and trace around this plan. And I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch in a second, but uh, you'll just see why in a second. One thing you'll notice that this plan doesn't have too many windows downstairs. I didn't design it. It's just uh, a plan. Okay, so I drew my walls the way I would traditionally with Pluspec, and I could now do a bill of quantities and the framing and everything like that from it, but it's not the point of this tips and tricks video. I'm going to pull this up to here. Now when I go around the house and I look, you can see I now know where my garage door is. So I'm going to just pull it down just a touch so I can see my wall there. And I'm going to select this here, and I'm going to go to my doors, and I put my garage door in. Oops, it's asking me to select the wall. What I did is I actually closed down the component, select the wall, go to my doors, uh, go to my garage doors, uh, where are we, submit, and turn this off clear because it makes it a little bit easier. I can see my garage door starts here, oops, actually you can see there, they've got a door there, so I'm actually going to go escape, and I'm going to go my garage door starts here, and here, and I'll show you what happens in a second, and I've got an uh, external door here. Sometimes it's easier to go to you to here. Uh, swinging door external. And I'm going to go from here. And I can see here. And I can take a bit of a guess at, at the width of that door. I would say it's an 820. Look, it could be 900. doesn't matter. You can read that on your plan if you want to. All right. What happens when I push this back down? You see that? I quickly could see where my doors were. So I could do the same with a window out the front here or around the back here. I think there's some more windows. It's making it easier for me to reference where the windows are. So I'm going to select my wall again, go to windows, and you can get the heights of these windows and you can put them in later and I'll show you that in a second. All right, so uh, we might say it's a double hung window maybe. Uh, yeah, submit. Turn it off my clear view. Go to here and I can see that I have a window here and I can get a bit of an idea. 888, I'm going to say it's a 900. Because if you're doing it for, for construction estimates, you could read your window schedule. All right, let's have a look what happened when I push this back down. All right, if for instance I was reading my, uh, uh, my uh, window schedule, I can change the size of these windows very quickly or the heights of the windows. And there's two ways I can do it. I can just go to here and say, okay, well, I can drag it down uh, 600 mil or whatever it might be and I can change the size of my windows very very quickly Okay, how did I get to that and how did I get it to do that so I'm going to get outside of this so you can see that I have a component here which is my uh, my importer plan I'm going to click inside of it until the face goes uh, dotted like that and I'm simply going to use my line tool now I'm going to cheat a little bit I'm going to adjust inside of my black here All right? trace over or you can use a rectangle tool Use your zoom, get used to using your zoom. If you're not using it properly, it's taking you longer to do things. It only takes a sec. Okay, here. Now, if I wanted to get accurate, and I was going to use it, as I mentioned earlier on, for 
uh, drafting. I'd want to be pretty accurate with these thing, with these uh, lines. However, the purpose for this would be I want to get an estimate of the amount of bricks in this house. Uh, I want to go back and find my very first line. So I'm going to go shift down to here. Bang! Right now I have two faces. You'll see. Okay, I'm going to push, pull this face so you can see what happens. You can see that I can tell where all my windows are. Sometimes if you don't quite grab one, you can move it in a touch. It looks like a meter box there, I'd say. Uh, it's a, or it might be a higher window. But you see, when I move that, I can see what's going on. Makes it very easy for me to see where my windows are. Okay, right, so I'll undo it. Control Z, I'm using to undo. Now all I've got to do is grab my wall. And this just saves you heaps and heaps of time, especially if you're doing a 3D render or something. Submit, going down to my line, and right arrow, Let's get the outside of my wall. And notice it's just snapping to the lines that are put in there, it just makes it easier, less navigation. Notice I'm zooming out to the left to go right. If you've ever seen the movie Lightning McQueen, I have four children. Steer left to go right, same thing. Okay, I'm going to pull my walls up. Okay, now I can see where all my windows and doors are. Right, grab it, go to my uh, window. And you know what, if you, if you do have a uh, window schedule in front of you, you can change the size of your windows as you go to. So if we might say the first one's going to be 1800. Turn my clear off. First one is 1800. Right, and the next one I could go and change it as well if I chose. If I didn't close down that last dialog. And I'll give you an example of that over here. Okay, so we're going to go around to here. Just so I can see, it's probably not a great one. Here's two windows here. Well, let's say this one over here is 1200 and this one over here is 1800 high. So I select the wall, go to my windows. And this is something a lot of people don't know that is a big time saver. You can see that this window here is 1800. I don't have to push submit. Right, I can go and say this window here. You can type in the measurement if you want to. And the next window we're going to say is 1200. Right, and submit. Push, pull our thing back down. And you see I have a 1200 and 1800 window. Great way to be able to find, figure out where your windows are without having to cross reference and so on. Uh, it is a two-story house this one guys so you know what if I quickly want to show you how to put in some floor joists, walls, generate uh, roof face from walls, I can go and put in my floor joists Oops. here floor joists, choose the type of joist you want to need you're going to use, I'm going to use eye joists at 450 centers or 16 on center. Uh, I don't want barriers and I say I want all my floor joists to run this way. I do want to make sure that I'm above the face, it's below the face. Yeah. And give it a second, it's created all my floor joists for me. Uh, if I had have included flooring, include floor. All right. And now I can grab this one over here. I'm inside of components, I probably shouldn't have done that, regardless. And move it on top of my, my two-story section here. Let's get into a spot where I can do it. And I really want to line up the bottom of my floor here. you notice I don't want this. I'm going to get rid of that now, because I've finished with what I needed it for, so I'm just deleting it. I grab this. You can select one wall, right click walls, and select the connector walls. Right, and I can now move that to where I want it to go. And it might be on top up here, say like that. Right, I can now put a roof on it, generate roof from walls. Uh, choose a pitch, type of roof, and so on. Submit bang look how quickly I got together a 3d plan now you know what I can go through and put in the rest of my windows and doors it's just an example of a way to, to save yourself a lot of time
Guys, I hope it helps you out. Cheers.